A top ISIS commander killed in a U.S. raid in Syria. Forces also capturing his wife for questioning. It is a big win for the U.S. as Abu Sayyaf helped direct ISIS oil, gas, and financial operations. Texas Congressman William Hurd is a former CIA undercover operative and joins me here live in studio. You recently spent, I understand, a week in the Middle East as part of the Foreign Fighter Task Force, learning more about foreign fighting. Um, this is huge for U.S. forces. It is also a first. This is not the way that we had pre-planned our mission against ISIS. It began with airstrikes. What do you believe should be the next step? Look, we got to continue airstrikes, both manned and unmanned, and we need to be um, equipping our partners in the region, the Peshmerga in, in northern Iraq, the Sunni militias, you know, in, in the center part of the country, but we also need to in, embed uh, special forces like this. I, I don't think we need huge troop movements, but the example we should be thinking of is 2001 in Afghanistan. In the fall of Kandahar, which was basically kicked all the Taliban out, there was, there was 300, 400 um, Americans on the ground, 300 special forces 100 CIA and we killed a third of al-Qaeda and kicked the Taliban out of the country. I hate to say what if, but what if we had gone in on the ground before now? Would we be any further against the fight against ISIS than we are now? Oh, I absolutely think we would have been. You know, this is, this is an example where aggressive intelligence-led operations is going to root out this enemy. The only way we're going to stop them is by stopping them in the area where they're operating, you know, and, and preventing them from coming to our homeland and, and, and continuing attacks here. You know, there's about 20,000 foreigners, Westerners, that are traveling into Iraq and Syria and fighting with ISIS. Um, and some of those are coming back to Europe. Some of them are coming back to the United States. And the way we stop this is, is to get rid of them um, there. Yeah, what message does this send to all of the recruits, the militants that are trying to join ISIS, the Westerners in particular? Right. Uh, knowing that now we're on the ground. Right. I ISIS has been promising adventure, you know, stop playing video games and come, come do the real thing. But the most likely thing that's going to happen when you go down there is get a bomb dropped on your head or, or a bullet in your chest. And it's not, in, you're not going to get any adventure. So. I mean, let's just talk about the intelligence that was collected that would have never been collected had we just dropped a bomb on this compound. First of all, it wouldn't have guaranteed his capture. The point was to go in and capture him alive. Right. But he fought back, and so he was shot. His wife was taken into custody. She has ISIS knowledge. She knows a lot about human trafficking, sex trafficking. I mean, it just speaks volumes about how deep and in over their heads Syria and Iraq are when it comes to fighting this. First of all, women. Uh, women in this part of the world don't have that kind of power. Right. And, and this woman really does. We can use this to our advantage. Absolutely. The, the amount of information that we're going to glean from this raid is, it, raid is, Huge. is fantastic. You know, it's, you know, right now, there are hundreds of men and women in the military doing DOCX, document exploitation, whether it's the computers or the actual files there. This was a senior member of kind of the cabinet, if you will, of ISIS. He was kind of the CFO uh, of the operation. He was close to al-Baghdadi, the, the head of, of ISIS. He was involved in, in financing operations. Um, and also, everyone in ISIS knows this has happened, so now they're scrambling and they're having to change um, what they're doing, so it disrupts um, their activity as well. So this, this is, is much a, a, a similarity to the way we, we got Osama bin Laden. I mean, we had a compound raid. It was a pre-planned event. Uh, our guest earlier suggested that we should have another one right away. We should not let any time, you know, for them to rebuild. Absolutely. Do you believe that perhaps there is another pre-planned raid that we don't know about? Uh, it, it, it's possible, and, and there may be evidence or intelligence that's gleaned from this raid that allows um, continued operations. And look, at this, the U.S. Special Forces, these guys are pros. They're best in the world. And, I mean, you know, let they them walked away with their lives. Right. They are amazing, right. and our kudos to them today. Talk, uh, Texas Congressman William Hurd, thank you so much for coming into studio with us to us.